Good morning. Look how misty it is today. I think it only went down to 18 or 19 degrees Celsius overnight. And it's calling for 39 degrees Celsius with the Humidex today. So that's going to be brutally hot. I think it's uh, 30 degrees without the Humidex. And again tomorrow, I think even hotter tomorrow actually. Then a few more days of heat after that. Not, maybe not quite as bad, but definitely way above seasonal. This uh, weather continues to be brutal this year, but it's uh, creating pretty interesting conditions this morning. It's so misty that you um, can't even see all the way across the short meadow, and certainly not down the long arm. And uh, I tried to drone over the marshes this morning just to see if, um, just to see the mist on the water and see if there's any moose out there. Just couldn't even see. So as soon as the drone went up in the air, it kind of lost signal. Anyway, it's uh, going to be a hot one again, so I think what I'll do is just work for a few hours here on the porch. And then uh, as soon as it starts getting too hot, I'm going to get out on the water, go for a swim, maybe go fishing or something. I know Kelly would love to do that. Anyway, get to work. Some beach that I milled last year that's been, been exposed to the elements, so it's got a little bit of fungus and stuff on it. But I'm going to burn all that that out anyway with the torch or fire. 
so that it acts like a preservative and then uh, I'm going to oil it as well so I can use I am going to use those on, on the exterior um, the interior part of the by the exterior I mean the last couple of rows um, facing the creek so the first boards that you'd step on as you walk up onto the porch from the side uh, the rest of it you'll see behind there the ash is all gone stuff that I had cut for flooring what I decided is that I only have like one ash tree left and it realize it's not going to be enough to cover the entire cabin floor so instead of having multiple species on the cabin floor I decided just to use that on the porch now same thing it's not really rot, very rot resistant so I have to uh, burn it and oil it to make it uh, last and I also need to make sure there's some gaps between the boards so that the water and the snow can melt and go through um, it's going to shrink a little bit so I think what I'll do is probably leave like I don't know maybe the thickness of a nail or something so three-eighths maybe maybe of an inch I'll leave as a gap right now and that'll probably no not three-eighths probably a quarter I don't know I'll figure that out and then just some of the boards are kind of warped so if I average it out I'd say yeah maybe three-eighths of an inch and um, So I average it out maybe at a quarter of an inch and then let it get a little bit bigger than that as much as even of a, a half of an inch to let it drain properly. So that's what I'm doing. It's really hot again. <laughs> Another day too. Now it's calling for uh, high humidity and heat tomorrow too. So it hasn't broken yet. Anyway, I'm going to get them back to the cabin and get them thrown in the porch.